Robert Brown guide in our newsroom and this is how it was been an attempt as perhaps you know now on the life of President Kennedy the Los Angeles Times this the is how it is Press are now reporting Michael Jackson has died in Los Angeles this afternoon Fox News cannot cannot confirm this but Associated Press has just has just reported a person with knowledge of the situation says Michael Jackson has died you're not going to believe this the cars are passing literally by the circus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've laughed today, Ship. <laughs> and they've stopped at the circus. Maybe the carnies are getting out of the car to begin the proceedings, get the tilt a whirl going. From carnies to crying on air. Father, I promise that I would not let this story dry, uh, die. However, I had to break that promise because I am now working at a network that will follow through on a story. I am not a journalist. I'm just a guy who cares. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, Walter got choked up, but not like how Glenn did. Apparently official President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. We were talking about the news and how it has just deteriorated <laughs> from, you know, when, when I was growing up as a kid, you'd see uh, Walter Cronkite on the news. It was a desk. It was a clock. It was Walter. <laughs> and you, you, pretty much, you, you pretty much believed him. Commencing in the 1950s with the traditional man-on-camera technique for news delivery, much evolution has turned the broadcast industry into a colorful and artistic graphic design made to sustain the ever-changing desires of society. We live in a society where um, we have to be entertained to get our attention. It has to be interesting, it has to be exciting, it has to be dramatic. And if, um, if, uh, if, uh, if a program doesn't have those qualities, it certainly doesn't kind of break through, you know. So news, incidentally, is kind of falling victim to that. They've realized, and I always say that news is a commodity. News has to sell. People always talk about news as objective, and, and they forget that news is, is a commodity like anything else. Uh, if nobody's buying the news, then it doesn't work, and, and, and the, the program goes off the air, you know, or they, don't, they lose money. Not only has technology evolved the news delivery process, but on-air personalities have taken on a new life. With the mentality of today's society wanting instant gratification, news is constantly accessible. Even the idea of waiting, something happened at 6 o'clock in, in the evening. Well, somebody reported on it, then went home, back to their office, typed it up, had it go to the printer, printed it, and then seven hours la later you got it. That's just not the way people are operating anymore. So the fact that the newspapers are going out of business, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing for journalism. I think there'll be a market for news, it's just it's different and it, it's really much more dynamic and interesting. Not only are viewers now faced with the task to broaden and vary their sources in which they gain news information, but aspiring news media hopefuls must now also come to terms with the reality that the everyday stories in which they will be covering may be broadened. Young journalists aren't only going to need to have a range of um, skills across genre that is hard news and light news, entertainment news or whatever, they're going to need to have a broader range of skills. So that is, it used to be when you were talent, you were in front of the camera, that was it. Well now, uh, you know, we see trends in the job market are people are expecting young journalists to know how to shoot, to know how to edit, to know how to write, of course, they usually always had to know how to do that. But they have to do a multitude of things. Um, the term is mojos, mobile journalists, where these people go out, shoot, you know, write, edit, and post it online and do everything. So young journalists, if you ask me, it's a very exciting time. CNN has something they call eye reporters. I, these are just regular people covering stories and sending the stories to them. And they have to use it. It could be you, it could be me, people like that. So they know they have to rely on those people to do that. But they have to be careful about, you know, authenticity, as I said, credibility, integrity of the information they're using. Uh, there's a few cases where papers have, uh, uh, stations have been burnt by using information that they think was true, sent to them by someone, and they find out later it wasn't true. It was a setup. Right. You know, so that's kind of the danger that you have to deal with. And that's the way it is. Friday, March 6, 1981. I'll be away on assignment, and Dan Rather will be sitting in here for the next few years. Good night.